information tonight in a deadly accident that killed two construction workers in Ames. We're learning that the two victims may not have been wearing safety equipment properly while working on a campus town apartment building. KCCI's Jason Rattala is just back from Ames with this story tonight. Stacy, we've learned the names of the two men killed. They include 35-year-old Javier Hernandez and Alfredo Juarez. Juarez's age is not known. Police say one of the workers fell as the other victim tried to rescue him, both ultimately falling to their deaths. Construction resumed Monday on the Foundry Student Apartment Building after two workers fell to their deaths Friday afternoon. It's too bad. I mean, we have a lot of construction workers in Camp Snow, especially right now. A witness tells police both Hernandez and Juarez were wearing safety harnesses at the time, but were not tied to safety ropes on the scaffolding. The two men then fell three stories off that scaffolding. Police tell us one of the men started to fall as the other tried to grab him before both fell. Police say both men received trauma to the head. It's very sad. I'm sure that you know they have families that are grieving through this uh, situation. So certainly our, our thoughts and prayers go out to them. Opus Design Build LLC hired subcontractors to work on the project. The company says they are currently investigating and say their thoughts and prayers are with the victims. Ames Police will work with OSHA to see what, if any, regulations or policies were broken on the day of the accident. OSHA tells us they did a walkthrough of the construction site Saturday and are still gathering facts. It'll probably really be more on the OSHA side of it at this point that they'll follow up with, um, you know, the contractors, the subcontractors, um, all the building officials there. Um, so it could take some time. Ames Police tell us construction site deaths are very rare. Police tell us there were two subcontractors working the project. They are Whitey Exteriors and ESL. Live in the studio, Jason Rantala, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.